What is going on, y'all? Welcome back. We are shooting another high adventure video. I just pulled up to this spot. Check this out. This guy right here is getting ready to stalk some trout in this stretch of river. We're getting ready to go fish. So I want to check this out. Looks like it's going to be pretty sweet. I've never seen anything like this in real life. What's up, man? What's happening? I'm Micah. Yeah, Parker. Parker, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, Dude, what kind of what kind of trout are you stalking? Uh, it's all rainbow trout today. All rainbow, cool. I've never like I've seen it, you know, in videos, but I've never like watched it happen live. I happened just to pull up today. We've driven two and a half hours Where are you from? up from Columbia, and uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a low blow. Um, but we're, I was just like coming up here. We're gonna just explore. I picked this place out on Google Maps, and uh, this is very fortuitous. Are they hungry? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I usually don't stick around long enough to find out. But <laughs> cool, I cool. Hear good things. People are catching fish. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'll follow you down then. I'll see this process. I'm pretty excited. This should be cool. Oh, guys, look at this stretch of river. Oh, man, that looks amazing. Super clear. Looks really good. Looks like he's getting ready to back up right here. We'll get out of his way. Look at that. Oh, my. Wow, that looks awesome. Phew. Oh, I am so excited to get into this river. Here you go, back right up, get out of his way, and let him do his thing. See how this looks. How often do you guys stock around here? Uh, right now it's like twice a month. Okay. But when we really get going, it's more like once a week. Is that like in the winter times? Uh, yeah, it's usually when it's a little colder. Okay. Cool. We're kind of uh, at the edge of, you know, like marginal trout habitat down here in South Carolina. So in the summer it gets really warm. Right, right. So they, a lot of times they won't survive the uh, summer in some of the places in the stock. Okay. This river and, an, and one of the other ones up there um, are fed from a dam. Okay. And they recently installed a bottom release on the dam within the last couple of years. So uh, the water coming through here should stay at a colder temperature all year long. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so it helps the trout just survive, yeah, you know, subject the hot to, months. Subject to Greenville water releasing. Right. Water, so. Okay, cool, cool. I'm excited to see how this goes. Is it always uh, rainbow trout that you guys release? Is that the main trout or is there anything else you guys uh, release? The we have brown trout, brook trout, and rainbow trout. Oh, okay. Right now it's all. All bows. Cool. So is this a scientific method or do you just? Yeah, it's very scientific. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, dude, there's some nice sized fish in there. Look at that. Oh yeah, there's some good eating size trout. This time of year you keep any size, correct? Oh uh, yeah, it's no size limit, five fish. Right, and then that changes in like first part of November, right? Not, not right here. Oh really, okay, so this stretch stays like, you could yeah. keep any, okay, cool. Do the brook trout make it over around here too? Uh, they do. Okay. Woo! That's it? We're right here. I'll go all up and down. Oh, you go, you just spread them out. That's cool. Yeah. Try Sweet. not to put them all at one place. I know, right? <laughs> I may, I may come down here just a bit and try my luck. Yeah, so. <laughs> awesome. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you. Man, what a way to start our trip <laughs> here in the mountains. I mean, you roll up, find the guy that's dumping trout into your river. I'm not the smartest individual out there, but I think it would be a wise decision to start right where he just dumped like 50 nice rainbow trout in. So we've got our fishing rod, we got a backpack full of snacks, drinks, and baits. Let's go ahead and see what we could do on this fresh stretch of river, freshly stocked. Ooh, a little overgrown right here. You know, this water's so clear. It's gonna be hard to sneak up on anything, but We've got to do our best that we can to try to stay quiet. Here we are. We've got some shrimp, eggs. Discovered that these worked wonders last time, did way better than the little salmon eggs. There we go. Just put a single one on, like so. I try to get away with like as little um, a tackle as possible as far as doing um going as light with the line and everything especially in this clear water man 
Oh, there's a bite already. Oh, dude, I just missed one. I can't even see down that way. Oh, feeling he took my bait. No, I still got bait. Got him. Got him. <laughs> First cast. Not a big one. Still a fun fight, though. There you go. Nice little rainbow. Imagine that. Get the skunk out of the boat, though. Let's go. It's a pretty fish. That's about 10, 11 inches. He threw some bigger ones in there, though. I think we're going to try for a little bit bigger fish. There you go. Let's try this again. Here we go. Another piece on. Like, I know they're down that way. I'm just throwing it down and just going to let it sit down there. And in this clear water, they'll notice it drop. There's one. Got him. Got him. Just picked it up off the bottom. No, stay out of the woods. <laughs> That's cool. There's a small one. Oh, oh, there he goes. That's easy release right there. Come on, I saw some like 12, 13 inches he threw in there. There were some bigger fish. Oh, let's check out down here. Go oh, nice and easy. Oh, I see a couple bigger ones over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I gotta open the bale first. There's a bigger one right down here for sure. Dang it, the little one got it. I Dang it. Not the size I want. Come here, you. He stole it from the bigger ones. So we caught a couple out of that last pool, but they're starting to get a little jumpy and I wasn't able to hit any of the big fish I wanted. So we're just gonna keep moving down this path. See if there are any other pockets we can hit. I'm sure there'll be plenty. Here's a nice little area. I think I see some chunky ones down here. The problem is, is getting past all the babies. That's a bit, that's a nicer fish. Oh, eat it, eat it, come on. That's a nicer one too. Come on. You, yeah, you want it, come on. Yeah, you like the taste of that, don't you? There we go. Hey, there's a better trout. Come on. Come on. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yes, that's better. That's better. Look at this. Oh. Hey, now we're cooking. Look at that trout. That is not a bad bow at all. That's the one I've been after right there. That's a pretty one. That's a good 12 inch right there. That's, I see them here down here for there are probably about maybe 15 stacked up down here and only maybe three of them are that size. That's a pretty, pretty trout. Let's get it rinsed off a little bit. Awesome, good catch. A little sight fishing for trout in a river. Oh, what am I doing? I'm trying to give him every opportunity to get away. All right, let's get him up here on a stringer before he makes another escape. There you go, got a little old fashioned stringer here. Just take thin piece of wood or in this case like a little branch and there's a little notch down there at the end and you cut the gills and so it's going to bleed out well then you just carry it around like that sweet there's one of five y'all it's a good fish i'm gonna set him right over here keep him in this cool water so he stays fresh we might have just messed this spot up with that catch you know i see another nice one down there it's worth another throw in let's see if we can coax another one out here i see another piggy Sitting right up there. The problem is, it's getting it past all the babies. Actually, that was a decent one that just hit it. There's another one. It wasn't the piggy that I saw. Dude, that's not another solid trout though. Look at this. Yeah, I'll keep that. I'll keep that. That's probably about 11 inches. Yeah, that's not a bad fish at all. That's a fat one. Let's do this. I feel like I'm getting back to my Idaho roots, y'all. For those of you who may not know, I'm originally from Idaho. That's where this channel started, if you're new to the channel. And trout fishing is kind of what I cut my teeth on and as far as being a YouTuber. And uh, since moving here to South Carolina, obviously not as many trout uh, opportunities as there are like in Idaho. Look at that. That's two nice fish. Two nice fish. But they're definitely here. The opportunities are here. Uh, I just haven't really taken the time to get up here into the upcountry and really, you know, explore and look for them. In Idaho, you couldn't swing a dead cat without hitting a good trout river, pond, stream. Here in the south, you definitely have to go hunting for them a little bit more. 
Hey Shower, this is just us putting in the time and the effort to find us some nice areas with some trout. Cool. Those guys will get bled out and stay cold in the river. Well, not a bad start to our adventure. This is what we're gonna be doing, y'all, for the next couple of days. We're gonna be up here in the mountains, hiking mountain trails, exploring mountain streams, and just generally high adventure shenanigans. Man, look at this though, look at this. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Just keeps going all the way that way. We got plenty of river to explore. Let's see if we can catch a few more. We get five, we've got two already. I think that's a water snake. Yeah, that's a water snake. Look at it. Whoa, that's a big one. If I were trying to survive, you could eat that guy. Woo! It's a big old snakey snake. Danger noodle. Look at that. That's a thick old girl. Goodness gracious. That is cool. Oh. Okay. There she goes. <laughs> that's pretty neat never know what you're gonna see when you get out see this is what you have to get out get outside that was cool i mean that thing was like close to three feet long that was a fat one too that had some meat on it if i was gonna want to eat something that'd be the kind of one you'd want right there but that's why i have to go out and have some high adventures of your own you know what i'm saying here's a nice one just picked it up oh yeah see he come came back for it dang it and I missed him. Like once he tasted it, he just started to annihilate it when he missed it the first time. Then I missed him the second time. So we must rebate. Let's see, now that he's tasted that, let's see if we can get him to bite again. He knows what it is now. Got him, got him. I, I don't know if that was the same one, but it was a, it's a decent sized trout. One of the bigger ones in this stretch. But he came up and just absolutely just throttled it right as it hit right as it hit the water that's a good fish come here that's as good as ones we caught today shoot that might be one of the bigger ones we caught today look at that trout right there so i did something different i switched this little golden jay hook which i don't know what it is about these little golden jay hooks but i found at least in lake jocassi uh, when i was rigging up my live bait with that little golden jay and i think it's just the color it really seems to get these trout's attention and that's probably, shoot, that might be the biggest one we've caught today. But just a little piece of that shrimp on that golden jay. And he just came over and just absolutely devoured it. I don't know if that was the same one that we just lost. But all I know is once we rigged back up and threw it back in, another trout of decent quality just popped it immediately again. Here we go. Another nice little little waterfall just cast it right up in there see if anything's in there to play oh i just got a bite there's one got him don't know how big he is oh dude this might be a good fish this might be the one we're after right here oh that's a nice trout y'all 
Yeah, that's a nice shot. That's the biggest of the day right there. Yeah, that's awesome. I brought no net, which is typical for me. That is a nice sized trout. Look at this. That's how you want to end your trout fishing day right there. That's beautiful. I'll bet that that pushes 14 if that's not 14. Right out of those headwaters up there. That is gorgeous. That's what you want. Whew. There we go. Oh, my stick's breaking. The uh, stringer's getting smaller. I'm going to have to get a new stick. Oh, one actually just came off, but there you go. Biggest one of the day to end it. That's how you like to do it. I know there's stalkers, but it's still a lot of fun, man. Up here in the beautiful mountains, next to this gorgeous stream, pulling these really pretty trout out. I mean, that's going to taste good. It might not be quite the same as like a wild trout, but if you've ever had trout, you know that's going to taste delicious. I think what we're going to go ahead and do is, well, first we better find a bigger stick to put these guys on, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to get camp set up. We, uh, we got checked in. We're staying out at uh, Devil's Fork State Park up here in South Carolina, but uh, I haven't actually got like the tent and everything set up. So let's get back, get all set up, and uh, we're gonna cook up a little fresh trout. But man, what a great start to this next couple of days. This is sweet. We are at site 18. 18, 18, where you at? 13, 15, 16, oh, oh. Oh, no, that's 17. Hold up. Wait a minute. And, ah, there she blows right there. Mm, we've got neighbors on one side. That's okay. Oh, yes. This is nice. Here we go. Let us see what we've got to work with here. First off, I can smell campfires, which is just lovely. Here we go. A nice camp. Ah, oh, and a tent pad right over here. I do believe this will do. Yeah, this is awesome. There's some nice woods back here. It's pretty. Oh, hey, look, somebody's already getting a camp fire set up for us. There you go. How generous. Anyway, got a nice table to do our cooking and stuff on. We've got electrical, got water. Pretty much everything that you'd want at a campsite. I always get RV spots um, because of the electrical. I bring a heater. Well, you guys will see that later. But I bring a heater for the tent at night just because uh, up here in the mountains it gets a little chilly. I don't know how cold it's going to be now because it's only uh, end of September. But I don't know. I think it might be low 60s. So I don't know. I'd rather have the heater than not. brought some wood because it might get a little chilly this evening and there's nothing quite like trout over a fire i can't grab this stuff to save my life it's because i've got little baby mitts there we go we probably should stack it a little nicer than that So I was going to use the fire grate they gave me here at the campsite, but it's super uneven. So I brought my Brio camp kit here. I'm going to get this set up. Glad I did. I just kind of threw it in last minute because so I wasn't sure. I forgot what the fire pits were like up here. And this one's super yumpy. That's better. I like that. Don't know if I'll use this, but we'll throw it on there, just in case. We're so close, and I refuse to use the lighter again. There you go. That's the big trout. 
that was ended up being 13 and a half inches. So we've just uh, scaled it and then taken all the guts out of the inside. And then I'll just take my knife actually. Yeah. Probably not the best idea to do this while it's in your hand. But we're just gonna score it like that on the side. Probably three times each side. That way that seasoning can get down there on the meat. That's just gonna go right over the fire. There we go. We have our trout. And I'll put them in some foil. I'm just gonna rotate this around right over the flame like that. In fact, actually, I'm gonna drop that down a little closer. There we go. Bring our spices and stuff over here. Let's see what we've got. Let's let's start with a little salt. Crack that over everything. There's that. Ah, throw in some pepper as well. There we go. Oh, you know what? I forgot my oil. One second. Drop some oil down in there. Should have done that at first, but that's okay. Oh, that was a little much. Put a little seasoning on. I don't want it sticking out oh, too late. It's already sticking. Dag nab it. Here, let's rotate this this way for a quick second. Dang it. Should have put that oil on first. Now my skin is sticking to the oil. Now check this out right here. I had some subscribers. Uh, here we go. Uh, Scott and Michelle plus, what's that? Damie? They sent me some awesome stuff here just a little while ago. And I've been saving it actually for a mountain trout trip just like this. I have some old Pueblo, Pueblo, I don't know. Poblano green jalapeno sauce, but this is what caught my attention right here. 505 Southwestern pineapple mango jalapeno. Salsa grilling marinade. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt to open this. There it is. Oh my, that smells delightful. We're just gonna pour a bunch of this right in with our fish. Going right in. There you go. And we're gonna swing this back over the fire. I'm gonna curl this back up. Kind of rest the fish in that marinade and swing it back over. There we go. I'm gonna let that fish cook in this marinade. Scott, Michelle, and Damie, I think it's Damie. Thank you so much. Well, I'll wait to say thank you until I, oh, oh goodness, too much oil until I taste it, but it looks phenomenal. Ah, little oil's catching on fire there. <laughs> Eeps. Let's swing it that way a little bit here. Cook that side. Oh, nope, that ain't good either. Actually, it's not the oil, it's almost like it's catching the spice on fire. That's really weird. We good now? I think we're good. I've never had my fish catch on fire before quite like that. But I think we're okay now. Just have to watch it. Look at those sauces bubbling in there. Woo! I'm gonna turn this. Put that in there. Let it all marinate in those juices. Ow, hold up. Look out now. We got flame in the kitchen. I want to back that off a little bit. Whew. Little, little toasty there. A little toasty. Spread that fire out a little bit under there. It'll distribute the heat and make the flame go down a little bit. That way everything kind of cooks as evenly as possible. Yeah, that's better. That calmed it down. There we go, there we go. Hey, we did it. Oh man. Well, it smells divine. You guys come closer and take a look at this. It definitely got cooked in the marinade. So let's give it a try. Let's say a blessing really quickly though. Heavenly Father, thank you for the beauty of your creation, the mountains we get to come up and enjoy, and the rivers and the streams. All of this you created for us to have fun and enjoy, Lord. We just thank you for it. I pray you bless this food to my body now. Keep Stephanie and the kids in safety back at home and bring us back together safely. Through Jesus I pray. Amen. All right. 
Well, it passes the sniff test. I can tell you guys that. I know you can't smell it, but that's just unfortunate, really. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. That marinade's not bad at all. Getting a bit of pineapple with that bite right there. Wow. That marinade. Bazinga. Good grief. That is full of life and flavor. And I was afraid it was going to be quite spicy with the jalapeno, but I don't know. Three bites in. And I'm not getting too much kick. Maybe it'll build. Man. My subscribers came through in the clutch. I'm going to have to add that to like my library of sauces and spices because that's delicious. <laughs> Once you eat one side, oh, there's a little bit on the bottom. And you're left with all that meat right there. Great start to the trip, y'all. Oh, it's going to be hard to top this, I'll tell you that. Oh, well, we are all showered up, cleaned up for the night. I've got the evening snack, some tapioca pudding. It's actually not that late. It's only like 9 o'clock at night, but we've got us a big day tomorrow with all the hiking we're going to be doing. So I'm thinking we probably should get some good rest tonight. Call it an early night. What's the verdict on tapioca pudding, y'all? I love it, but some people aren't a fan. Like, my wife doesn't care for it. Mmm. I know, it's delicious. So a lot of people have been asking what happened with my bees. And for those of you who don't know, I actually started beekeeping for the first time this year. Put it on my second channel, I Adventure Videos 2, uh, where I do a lot of, like, kind of smaller videos and just other things I'm interested in. Um, long story short, my bees absconded. Meaning that the living conditions weren't optimal, so they all just up and left, unfortunately. It was crazy because, like, I looked at them one day, and I was getting ready to go down and film a video at the coast. I looked back at them, saw bees going in and out, and I thought, okay, good. I'll go check on them when I get back. I came back, like, literally three days later, and they had all left. Every single one of them. My only consolation is they didn't die. I mean, I didn't, like, kill them off. So... I mean, that's good, but I think what happened was is I put my beehive back in the woods and the bees did pretty well for about the first month. They drew out about four frames, but then they just stopped. And for like the last two months, they didn't do anything. They didn't build any more comb. I fed them regularly. Uh, you know, I checked on the hive. I kept it clean, as clean as I could. And... Um, it just didn't seem to be enough. I think being back in those woods um, was fine first time first for the first little bit in the spring, but I think as everything like shaded in, bees apparently need sunlight to kind of like keep them going and like get them up and keep them active. Well, being back in the forest, there wasn't exactly a whole lot of sunlight back there. Um, that was I think one problem. The second problem was uh, black beetles. I had a terrible time trying to keep black beetles out of the hive and I did a, a decent job for the most part I think but uh, right as I had actually learned about like a method of keeping black beetles out of the hive um, they left the all the bees left so it's an unfortunate um, state that we find ourselves in I basically just sponsored a beehive like I paid for them to come to my house I fed them I gave them a start and they left and they're somewhere probably in my neighborhood having a great time. Uh, so that's good. We're going to go ahead and finish this tapioca off. And then I think we're going to call lights out. I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning. Got some nice fresh bacon. Nope. 
well, we do, did, there we go, pretend like you didn't see that first part, that's okay, one piece always has to be sacrificed to the fire, that's so we can have a good day, right? Not a whole lot of better ways to spend your morning than like this right here. Loading up on eggs and bacon. Definitely gonna need this protein for our hike later this morning. Hmm. All right, we've got the truck packed up. We're gonna go ahead, hop on in. We've got about, uh, about a 40 minute drive to our trailhead before we could start our hike. All right, on to the trailhead. All right, here we are at the trailhead. Now, this is pretty cool what they do. Check this out. You actually register before you start your hike. So that way, you know, if something happens, because we're hiking like two, two and a half miles in, if something happens, um, they know that there's somebody out there. Obviously my truck is parked here, so you wouldn't want it to be left. Now what they have here, they actually have like a registry. Um, they have a pen. Last time I was here, they didn't have a pen. Oh, they have a pen now. I have a little piece of paper with all my info on it um, that I'm gonna just set right here. Actually, last time I was here, they didn't have like this nice little registry. Um, it was just a bunch of pieces of paper that people would scribble on. So I'm gonna put that right there, fold this up. And then when I come back, I will just take that piece of paper out, but then that way, if anything happens to us while we're out there, uh, God forbid, um, somebody will know that, wait a second, he should be back. And I put there, like all my information, I put like emergency contacts, um, I put my name, obviously, I put in parentheses, I should be back same day, put the time I left, the date, and everything. So if something were to happen, then, They've got all kinds of ways, you know, I'm not just like, hey, Micah went out here today, you know, give him as much information as possible. I always bring a firearm when I'm out here. Actually, I bring a firearm on all my videos, but especially, you know, we're out here in the middle of the woods. I could have sworn something just ran over that way. That was crazy. Anyway, um, you know, we're out here in the middle of the woods. Not a lot of like mountain lion activity and stuff around here, but, there are brown bears, not brown bears, there are black bears. I worry I wouldn't be hiking by myself if there were brown bears out here. <laughs> there are black bears. Um, not gonna have to really worry about coyotes, but it's always good just to have a firearm with you, in my opinion. Hey. First little bridge crossing. River looks really low. Bridge looks somewhat decent. We won't tarry too long on the bridge. Look at this road up ahead. Kind of reminds me in Lord of the Rings when they see the Nazgul for the first time, Frodo and all the hobbits. Like the path kind of reminds me of that. I don't know why I just thought of that, but if this doesn't put you in the adventure spirit, I don't know what does. mushroom is that does anybody know it's like orangish red I'm gonna take that as a sign to not eat it <laughs> ladies and gentlemen 
gentlemen. That's Georgia right there. Ha! We made it. Is that? I think there's a snake right down here. That's what I think it is. Dude, that is a snake. Wait, is it shedding? Look at this. Just a little, little water snake, right? Yeah. Like banded water snake. Oh yeah, another one. Like what we saw yesterday. I think he's molt is he molting? No, he's just laying flat. That's cool. Ha. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. You on the hunt this morning? Ooh. You on the hunt? There you go. Look at him, just going right down in the water. That's pretty cool. Probably not a lot of enemies around here. There's a bite. Come on. Dang it, missed him. Got him. There's a couple of trout down there. What is that? Oh, that's a that's a little creek chub thing you would do. There was a trout following it up though. Dang it. That's not what I want. I wonder how those taste though. <laughs> I saw a trout follow it up. Got him. I caught the trout. <laughs> There's a nice pretty trout. Not very big. There you go. Oops. There you go. Are you gonna live? Yeah, he's got a little spunk to him. He might. Wow, y'all, get a load of this. Well, this is cool. Big old sandy area, like a beach. This is pretty de- oh, 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 what do we have here? You know what we have to do. What's that? Hiya! Shut up. Yeah. All right, now we're done. All right, let's go down and drop a worm in over here. I need a good fish, man. I need a good fish. There's, oh, snikies. This is a good bite. I mean, I don't know if it was a good fish, but it was a good bite. There's one, got him. There she is. Oh, geez. That's a baby trout. That's the smallest of the day. Oh, and there he goes. It's easy release. There's a trout. Got one. There's a baby trout. Oh, there's a nicer trout right there. See, that's what I'm talking about. There's gotta be some in there. I see him swimming around right there. Little baby trout for you. There we go. There you go. Head back that way. There you go. I saw a decent sized one in there though. Follow that up. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, I see him right over there. Oh, he's swimming down to it. Eat it, come on. It's a worm, dude. Eat it. That looks like an eater right there. I got one of them. Oh, shoot. Dude, they're like super lazy. That wasn't even the one I was after. I didn't even see that guy. Shoot, dang it. Eat it. Dang it, I got the small one again. Another small one. I'm seeing some trout coming out though. Oh wait, that's one of those big old creek chub. I'm seeing some bigger trout coming out though. We're gonna get one. I'd settle just for one halfway decent size keeper. Get out of here. A big old horse fly. Oh, there's my trout right there. Got him. Got him. That's a keeper. Look at that. That's a pretty trout. That's a pretty one. Yeah, that's a 12 incher. Hey, now we're cooking. It's about time. That's a real pretty fish. Look at that. 
Yes, they're just kind of lazily swimming around down there. Not super aggressive, just kind of chill. Had to go through a couple creek chubs and a smaller one to get them. But we got our first fish out of this stretch. Honestly, it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. We fished a lot of really beautiful looking water, uh, but we finally got one. So, you know, not unhappy about that. Let's grab ourselves a little stringer here. Let's see, let's see if we got anything good over here. Maybe this guy right here. This guy will probably do. Feed it up through the gills. Be a little big. No, it's fine. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> First trout. Man, this water has just looked so good. I'm sitting here going, there's no way. There's no way there's nothing in here. And there is. We just gotta be a little patient. And we've tried this little red worm here. And that definitely has seemed to pick the bite up. At least in this section, anyway. Way more interested in that. There's a bite. Missed him. There's another one. Hey, that might not be a bad trout right there. Might not be. Might not be able to be too picky. Eh, that's, a, that's not terrible. We might throw that on a stringer. Yeah, we'll do that. Hey! Ha! Another one, that's like 11 inches. That's a pretty one. There we go. That's two. That's two for me. Sweet, this little pool's paying off. I can't even see any fish. Like that one, I didn't even see. I just threw it up there and we popped it. Got him, got him. Another one. It's interesting, like they're following each other up. See that, there's a second one like following him. That's kind of crazy. This one's kind of small. Because it's a brown trout, I think. Yeah, that is a brown trout. Whoa, crazy. We got our first brown. Check this out. Yeah, little brown trout. Ha, huh? not very big. But that's pretty cool still. That's my first brown trout out of the river. Ha, huh? oh, my trout are floating away. That ain't good. Here, stay back up this way. There we go. All right, I went ahead and put him on the stringer because he was gut hooked and he was bleeding. So I don't normally like to keep him that small. That's like eight inches. But if I let him go, he's just gonna float down and die. So we may as well get a little meat off of him. Look at this. What a gorgeous area up here in the mountains. You know, I'm not much of a hiking person. Uh, in fact, I really don't like to hike at all. The only kind of hiking I do is to fishing spots like this. But I tell you what, just like it's worth the hike in my opinion i think that's the first time i ever said that it's worth the hike just to come up here and be up at this crystal clear river it's just beautiful up here in the mountains especially this time of year nice and cool not hot but it's not cold yet just absolutely stunning views like postcard type views up here we have a few trout for our efforts and we could have had a whole uh a whole bag but i was kind of picky today trying to get some of the bigger ones but you know what i guess every spot can't be freshly stocked like yesterday no matter it's been a great day great last couple of days let's get back cook up some more fresh trout over the fire and i don't know what we'll do after that probably go to bed <laughs> i'm pooped bushwhacked Ugh. That should get us going here. Yeah. Now let's come over here. Drop this down. That should settle nicely right over. Look at that. Perfect. I'll have a link in the description below to this thing right here if you guys want one. I love this. I've had it for about a year now. And it's an awesome little camping gadget. In fact, I actually got my bro Ace uh, one of these for, I think it was his birthday. Birthday or Christmas. So, I really like it. Super portable, and just you could take it anywhere with you. I just brought this up camping with me, and it worked out perfectly since this thing is all yumpy. All right, we're gonna do 
these trout up. I'm gonna add some sides, probably not that because that's nasty. How's this looking? Other than that, that looks fine. Get a hold of this onion here. A little sweet onion as well. There you go. Oh, you know what? We're going to do this tomato as well. Hmm. This dude looks like he's seen better days. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. You know what? We're going to fire roast him. So, yeah, he'll probably be okay. Another day or two and he'd be a goner. All right. We have cleaned our three trout. Still kind of feel bad about that little brown trout. But you know what? It's better than him just sitting at the bottom of the river decaying doing nothing at the very least he fills our bellies let's see i've got all my spice up here oh you know what before we put the spices on a little oil over everything there we go flip that around in the oil as well got all these little cutter bees go go get your own food i cut the heads off go eat the heads little cutter bees want a part of the action here you know what? I have a subscriber send me this. Fish and Fowl Timber Ridge Rubs Seasonings. I think that's a good one. Let's give it a try. We're just using like all subscriber stuff this trip. It's kind of fun, not going to lie. I've been getting some sweet seasonings from y'all. There you go. That's done. Ready to go. Oh, you know what we're going to do? Actually, we're going to throw some tomato in with these guys. Just kind of on the sides that that the salt those tomatoes i will take all of our vegetables throw it in our cast iron like that not a whole lot of vegetables you know what this is missing this is some fresh parsley which i have a garden full of fresh parsley didn't think that went through that's okay we brought everything else a little jamaican seasoning on our vegetables probably give it a little kick there you go. All right. I think we're ready for the fire. Let's bring everything over. Set that right. Right about there should be good. Let's come back over here. Got this guy. Let's set him right there. Perfect. There you go. Got a good flame going on under there. This looks like it's about done to me. Put our fire gloves on. That looks pretty good. What we're gonna do, I think we're just gonna take all of our vegetables and dump it right over top. There we go. Fresh plate of trout. Worked real hard for these over five miles of hiking, but I think the views were worth it. And just the area we fished, that was just absolutely gorgeous. But. We're definitely going to eat all that. Probably could throw a couple more trout in there and eat that too. All I've had is a, a granola bar after we had that eggs and bacon. So there's something about that focusing on catching fish that I don't know. I just don't feel hungry at the moment, but I'm definitely feeling some hunger now. Let's eat. All right, we've got our fork. Got our, ooh, cherry Pepsi. Mmm. Ooh. There you go. Fresh mountain brown trout. You know, I noticed the meat on these fish was still pretty pale. You know, I thought maybe if they'd been in the river for quite a while, you know, sometimes it starts to turn a little pink from just what they eat, but everything's still pretty pale, like it was fresh out of a hatchery. I mean, it's still good. Still delicious. I'm gonna try it against this rainbow here. See if I can taste any difference. I almost feel like the brown trout has a little bit more like flavor to it, to me. There's some of that tomato right there with some fish. Mmm. Throw some onion in there. Mmm. 
That's a good combo. Yo, what a phenomenal time we've had up here in the mountains. We've gotten to discover some new places to go fish. Got some valuable information from Parker, the uh, forest ranger who was uh, stalking our catch yesterday. And uh, just general shenanigans up here in the mountains. It was a, it was a lot of fun. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me the last couple of days up here in the mountains. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.